Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, I'm Idhan Malhoun and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be circling around the hijab, my journey with the hijab, stories about me wearing the hijab, growing up with the hijab. And then I also have a few stories and some amazing, I would say, words of art. Okay, at the end from some of you guys that um, DM'd me on Instagram. Guys, follow my Instagram because that's where I ask for your guys' opinions on the YouTube channel because I want to post videos that you guys want to see and I want to be making content that's going to be beneficial to you guys. Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm wearing a black hijab. I never wear a black hijab. Anyways, one thing I do want to point out. I do want to point out. I feel like I have to point this out. I'm not a scholar. I'm not someone who's highly educated. In Islam, when I give out advice, it's more of like a big sister who's experienced life, right? So see me as a big sister who's experienced life. And I just want to give you some advice on like do's and don'ts of when it comes to anything. But as of now, I'm just like a big sister who's dealt with life and want to make sure you guys are dealing with life in the most positive way. Okay. All right. So me, okay, growing up, I always say like, Oh my god, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. A lot of my story times, it's because I lived in Phoenix and I was the only Muslim girl at all of my schools. Okay, so I started wearing the hijab when I was seven years old, believe it or not, seven. And religiously, you're supposed to wear the hijab when you've hit puberty because you're considered a woman at that point. So I started wearing at seven, not because I hit puberty, but because that's when I was introduced. To the hijab one fun fact about Ibn Malyun as a kid okay I thought everybody was the same and when I say that I mean like oh I'm Muslim everybody's Muslim I speak Somali everybody speaks Somali mm -mm, mm -mm. that wasn't the case me and my siblings the five of us and just my mom in like this little household my mom was new to the country and she had the five of she had the five of us and there was a point for a few years, it kind of it kind of affected me and my siblings now that we had to stop speaking Somali in the house. My mom would do it here and there, but the reason why we had to like completely stop is because my mom wanted to pass her citizenship test. So if you don't know what a citizenship test is, if you come into this country, you have to pass this test about who was the 16th president of the United States. No, 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 no. You have to basically pass the American test right in order to stay in this country so my mom was working so hard going to school learning english i had to teach her english me and my siblings were even put in an esl class inside of the school so we would learn english and then teach it to our mom alhamdulillah my mom passed that test alhamdulillah 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 we're able to live here but like all those years of not speaking somali it was a little traumatizing because you kind of let go of your roots right so why i bring that up is because even though we were detached from our somali roots my mom made sure that we stay true to our religious roots. My mom made sure that we learned the Quran. My mom made sure that the girls wore the hijab. Since my mom wasn't able to teach us about the religion, she threw us into Duxi. So just being thrown into Duxi with a blind eye, we're like, yo, yo what's, 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 what's going on, right? But alhamdulillah, I'm glad that she put us through Duxi because I feel like it wouldn't, it would have changed who I am today. And that's where I think I grew the love for the hijab. Like I said, I wore it at seven. So being in school, my source of identity was the hijab. Being in school, I'd get those ignorant ass questions. Are you bald? Are you hot in that? Why do you wear that? What's going on? Are you being forced? Does You know what's crazy? I got a question one day. It was under one of my TikToks recently. It was like, does the color of your hijab define anything? Like if you wear red, is it because you're angry? If you wear black, it's because you had no other color to choose. My journey with the hijab was just, it gave me a sense of security. It gave me a sense of a personality. I couldn't explain it as a kid, but just wearing the hijab, I was like, I'm unstoppable. No one can stop me. I just, it just gave me that. I couldn't explain why. It was just, that feeling was just there. That sense of security was just there. Me feeling like a superhero and my hijab being a cape was just there. I couldn't explain it. I would just teach everybody about the hijab. I would go, in my religion, us women, we wear these. And then other folks are like, okay, but like, why? And honestly, I never had a reason why. I never knew what the reason was. So as I got older, I decided to research more about the hijab and I learned, I need you guys to pay attention to this part. I learned that the hijab have two factors. 
three, I should say. Maybe well, the third one goes in with the second. But there's two factors of wearing the hijab. There's the physicality, meaning what a hijab looks like physically. Then there's the mentality slash lifestyle, which, is, which was that third one. So it's the physicality of the hijab and then the mentality slash lifestyle of the hijab. So the physicality of the hijab is, duh, the cloth on your head. Okay, then you wearing loose leaf clothing, covering up where your body shape isn't being shown. There are some that go to the lengths of covering their hands and their face. It just depends. I believe that there's difference of opinion of when it comes to like the physicality of what the hijab is. But the sole, the sole idea that everybody agrees on is that you have to be covered. And what people forget, what people tend to forget is men also have a hijab too. Yes, you men that be commenting under hijabi posts talking about some fix your hijab you got one too where's your hijab while you over here commenting other people's photos and videos where's your hijab hmm? Hmm? so everybody knows the physicality of the hijab covering up loose leaf clothing whatever so the lifestyle and the mentality of a hijab is obviously lowering your gaze which means you know if a fine dude gonna walk by you're not going no don't do that if you accidentally look just go Nope, 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 mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm lowering my gaze. Just that simple. It is that simple. And then even on social media, if you're scrolling, just watching anything, and you see something you're not supposed to, turn the app off. Delete it. Get Well, don't delete it. I mean, just like swipe it off of your history or just say, I don't want to see posts like this. It's that simple. And you know, it's kind of hard in this day and age, especially in this years of lowering our gaze. You know, another aspect of the hijabi lifestyle is also your character, who you are as a person, because Allah is the protector, right? So Allah is protecting us from anything evil or protect us from anybody that's just jealous. Okay, so a hijabi lifestyle is your character, how you speak to others, how you treat others, how far you're willing to go to help others, how far you're willing to go to help yourself, the way you carry yourself, the way that you bring positivity to the people around you, to the, the world around you. Being a hijabi, I would say, is the most beautiful thing in this world because it gives me my personality. I'm going to be so real. If I didn't have Islam or if I didn't have my hijab especially, I don't think I'd be the person I am today. The hijab gives me, personally, and I hope that it gives you this soon, inshallah, it gives me a sense of direction. It gives me a sense of clearness. It gives me a sense of, I wear my hijab and I'm proud of it. I wear my hijab, I'm repping my religion. I walk around, you can tell I'm a Muslim woman and I'm proud to be one. I walk around with my hijab. You know what I'm standing for. You know that I stand for the truth. You know I stand for peace. You know I stand for everything that Islam stands for because I'm wearing my hijab. Because of the way that I talk. Because of the way that I'm pushing Islam out there. The way that I'm pushing the hijab out there. Right? One thing that I love about the hijab, and if I had to circle the entire meaning of the hijab into one sentence, right? I'm covered. My hair is covered. My body is covered. You have no idea the body I have. You have no idea the hair type, hair texture, hair color that I have. You don't know what I look like physically. So you have no choice but to judge me based on my heart, based on the words that I say, based on the way that I think, based on the way that I carry myself, based on the, the legacy that I'm leaving. You have no choice but to judge my character. Because I mean, we all say only God can judge us, right? But unintentionally we'd be judging everybody. As everything is covered, you can't look at me the way that I look at myself. You can't, you're not standing in the mirror while I'm looking at myself like, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. What I wanna also say is that I think we should be thanking Allah for the hijab. I think we should be saying, Alhamdulillah, that we have the hijab. We have that sense of security. We have a community. A community. Because you walk, you see another hijabi, boom. Instant beautification. Can we just talk about that real quick? You see another hijabi, you're just like, MashaAllah. She looks so gorgeous. Let me go say assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I just want to say you look so gorgeous. And just watch how their day is being brought up. Just watch how they start to shine and that nur is just... Okay, so now in this point of the video, I'm going to be reading the entries that you guys have brought in of what the hijab means to you. And I do have a few stories. And I do have a few comments that I want to read um, that you guys were okay with me saying. Fun fact. If it is blind as a bat, 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to wear my glasses while I do this. I got my laptop. Let's read. Okay, it's finished. Some of you guys did say that I was able, I can say your name, but the, for, for the ones that didn't specify, just to be safe, I'm not gonna say your name. So, this person said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, my hijab, what my hijab means to me is peace. Peace of nasty faces from strangers. Peace, peace to uh, who decides to see me. To obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my creator, to will, he told me. It means love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Love to my Lord who created me. That was a beautiful entry. I love that you said that hijab brings peace. Because it does. It gives a sense of calmness, right? Okay, so this person said don't read her name. Okay. I go to a Catholic school, so wearing the hijab was a bit of a struggle in my year group. There's two hijabis, and at the start, I did get scared to wear the hijab. But as time went on, I did get a lot more confident with the hijab. Good. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. And got used to the question from other classmates. At the start, I think... I let lots of people joke about my hijab and religion right in front of me. But now, as I've learned more about myself, I've understood what's funny and what's not. I'm trying to not let people say things I don't like. I like that. I like that. I mean, there's this thing of like dark humor, I guess, and making fun of, you know, some things that are not supposed to be made fun of. But once you start to learn the hijab and once you start to learn about the religion, you're like, nah, this is not something to laugh about. This is my person. This is me. What you're laughing at is what I stand for. And you think what I stand for is hilarious? No, because I'm about to put you in your place. For the person that sent that entry, thank you so much. I appreciate that story. And I, I honestly appreciate you guys opening up because I didn't think you guys were going to actually open up and share some stories. So I'm actually I'm actually proud that you guys did that. So this person said I can say her name. Qamar said the hijab makes me feel safe. Alhamdulillah. Wow, I love that you guys are saying safe, peace, security. That's exactly what I was talking about. Oh, someone said I started wearing the hijab when I was five. Wow. MashaAllah. I think my inspiration was my mom and my sister. That's good. I'm glad that you were having... I'm glad that you're able to have that inspiration from your mom and your sister because there are some hijabis out there, especially like the converts and the reverts that are doing it alone. And I want you guys to remember, you're not alone. You're not. One, obviously Allah is always there. But like I said, being a hijabi, you have this community and the, what I've noticed about the hijabi community, we're so welcoming because we know what it feels like to be outside. We know what it feels like when we're all covered and then we're living in a world where everyone's just like showing everything. Even though we're covering ourselves for the sake of Allah and to please Allah and to make it to Jannah, it's it's hard. It's It really is. So just know you have that community. You have that community of hijabis. That's why I made my platform. My platform. Sorry. Is for hijabis. I want all of us to feel like we belong. You know, I want all of us to feel confident in our hijabs. I want to. I want us to get to a point where the hijab is not unnatural. Like you don't. There are some people that just look at a hijab and you're just like, oh my god, those exist. Like I just want us to walk around normal, like how everybody else be walking around normally. But this life is a test, and everything we do, we do for the sake of Allah. Okay, so now I'm going to be reading the story entries that I've got. There are a lot. So bear with me because these will be like little story times. Okay, so this person does not want me to say their name. So I won't say their name. Someone said, hi. First of all, I love you for the sake of Allah. Oh, I love you too. Um, that being said, I started my journey at 16, maybe 15, still in high school. That was like 2015. I had one black hijab and I wasn't even Muslim yet. I was in a way. I was born Muslim but raised a Christian because my family is kind of all religious, I could say. My dad reverted in his youth, but he met my stepmom and went back to Christi Christianity, I think, for her sake. But I pray that Allah guides him, inshallah. May Allah guide him. Anyways, I reverted again around the same time. Like, I'd, I'd been to churches and everything, but I felt lost there. Like, I didn't belong. Then I joined high school and it and had made many Somalian out of friends. And I wanted to be a Muslim as well. Hey, let's go! Um, we had a masjid at our school. And I kind of envy the hijabis. Because being a hijabi earned you some kind of respect from society you get. Mm. I wore one black hijab for like two years. And obviously it wasn't easy. But that's a whole other story. Hijab means to me a safety net. My hijab is a great part of who I am as a person and as a revert. 
first of all, may Allah bless you for your journey. Oh my God. Can we just say Somali and Arabs for the wins? <laughs> no. <laughs> what I, one thing you reminded me is that representation matters. Representation matters. Like, so those Somalis and those Arabs that you were hanging around influenced you so much. May Allah bless those kids that you were around that was able to influence you to go back to the Masajid then go back to Islam and... Oh my God, my heart, you guys are going to make me cry. <laughs> that was a beautiful story. And you know what? Black hijabs for the win. I usually don't wear black hijabs, but, but for today, I guess I decided to wear a black hijab. I love at the end that you said safety net because it is a safety net. I feel like with the hijab, you get closer to Allah every time you wear it. Every single time. Because I know Allah says, remember me and I'll remember you. Us wearing the hijab is a form of remembering Allah. I need to be a poet. Oh, that was a good one. Allah says, remember me and I'll remember you. Us wearing the hijab is a form of remembrance of Allah. Thank you so much for sharing that journal entry. I appreciate it. All right, this one, shout out to Zainab for sharing her story in this next one. She said, I started fully wearing the hijab early this year, 2022, mashallah. I've always worn it before then, but I used to slip from wearing not so modest outfits to not putting on the hijab at all some days one thing i know is whenever i am dressed good with my hijab on i feel much more comfortable safe and confident girl i literally felt i literally feel the best i love that you did that your personality shows and now even if the hijab wasn't a religious thing i would still wear it and dress modestly <laughs> yes oh my god ever since i was a kid i used to think to myself if i wasn't muslim would i convert and I think I would, because not only does the hijab give a sense of security, I always say security, but it's like, it's, it's this feeling you can't explain when wearing the hijab. It's really, it's truly a feeling you won't experience until you place the hijab all over and in your heart. I love that part. I love that you said that. That just made me go crazy. Okay. Um, although I'm not wearing the hijab perfectly, which I don't believe perfect exists. We'll get to that. I still love where I am in this little journey of mine and pray to get better, inshallah. I just want to say this. To any girl wearing the hijab or is planning on doing that, you are not alone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows your intentions and he will make it easier for all of us. <laughs> I want to cry. I want to cry for that last ending. That was the most... Hold on, let me take these off. That was the most beautiful ending that you could ever put because there are some hijabis out there that feel lost. They feel like they're not wearing the hijab or they're not they're not Muslim enough to wear the hijab. When in reality, girl, you're going through a journey. I know that there's men specifically and I know that there's a lot of people out there that say, if you're not wearing the hijab properly, why put it on at all? Listen, Allah knows your intentions. Allah knows your journey. Allah puts you in that position with the hijab to go through it. You are wearing the hijab the way you're wearing the hijab to learn a lesson. All of this is to learn a lesson. Also, keep in mind, though, the sooner you start getting closer to the hijab, the better. Because you were not promised tomorrow. So that ending was super... Why are you crying, Eden? Stop crying, weirdo. I don't cry. I hate crying. <sighs> that was such a beautiful ending. Allahumma amin to that last part where it says, Allah will make it easier for all of us. I pray that Allah makes it easier for all of us. This person... Okay, I can share her name. This is Anissa. Shout out to Anissa. And this is my hijab poem. You did? I remember your poem. Okay, ready, 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 ready. Many people are identified by noticeable features like red hair, freckles, or green eyes. I am identified by my hijab, black, blue, pink. It changes every time. It sits on my head like an untouchable crown, draws in the stares of those around. It's been with me through it all, the vibrant ups and gloomy downs. Not once has it been... A burden to me always a friend of mine without it i'm empty without it i'm not me holds characteristic and values of its own beyond human comprehension a simple piece of fabric but tells a million different stories anisa anisa i need you to be a, a poet i need you to be a poet i need and i i felt like i read it off sequence because i was getting too much into it but that was a beautiful poem thank you so much for sharing Okay, this next person, I'm not going to say their name. Okay, 
My hijab is a bit interesting, but alhamdulillah, I'm in love with myself because of Allah. At first, I wore the hijab when I was about eight. Oh, okay, we starting off young. But not because it felt like a connection with it. It was because I didn't want to disappoint my parents who kept asking me when I was going to put it on. Over the years, I felt the hijab was like a chore in my outfit, like something I had to wear but didn't really want to. A chore in my outfit. That's a nice choice of words. At this point in my life, little connection I had with the hijab is completely gone. It took about nine years for me to actually connect with it. I saw this post about different types of modesty a Muslim woman wears, and I was instantly drawn into the abayas and the dresses. Yes, the tracksuits and baggy outfits were beautiful, but the abaya lit, lit a spark in me. And that same day, I thought a plain black abaya and a modest clothing store was nearby. I went home, wore it with my hijab, and I've never felt more beautiful and protected by a piece of clothing. I walked outside and just cried because of the sweetness and peace I felt within my heart. And to this day, I can only walk out in abayas and modest dressings, alhamdulillah, for the closeness and connections I now feel with my hijab. So her story... Stop! Stop! I'm trying so hard not to cry! I don't cry! You don't cry, little shit! First of all, thank you so much for sharing. Um, is that even though it took you nine years, you still found that connection with Allah. And even though it took you nine years, you still found that connection with the hijab. What I want people to understand and to realize, it takes a lot of us some time. It takes about nine years. It takes a few seconds. It takes anything. Just as long as you keep a relationship with Allah and you basically make Allah your best friend and you speak to Allah about everything, you'll get that spark like she did. She didn't want to wear the hijab. She didn't have that connection with the hijab. But just that tiny little post that she saw now led her to wear the hijab. I want to say I'm proud of you. I really am. I'm so proud that you were able to find that abaya and wear it and you rocking that abaya. I've never seen you in it, but I can only tell that you rocking it like it was never rocked before. Okay, so this next person, her name is Hannah. And she says, hey, my name is Hannah. Growing up, I had a famous sheikh dad, and a lot was expected from me being one of the eldest daughters. I don't even remember when I started wearing the hijab. That's how young I was. I don't have a problem wearing the hijab, but I was just curious why and what it was. I was never educated on what the hijab was and was just told to put it on, which made me really curious. When I turned 10, I was told to cover my body as well, but not in a clear way. I was in the fifth grade getting ready to go to school and my dad was taking me. I got ready, came downstairs, and my dad looked at me and yelled at me and told me that I wasn't a little girl anymore and can't wear short dresses. Since then, me and my dad haven't been the same. Everything he told me to do, I do the opposite. And one day, he talked to me and told me to start wearing G-Babs, but not for the right reasons. He told me to wear it so I don't ruin his name. <sighs> SubhanAllah. After that day, I was tempted to just take off my hijab because at that time, I wasn't on my deen. I wasn't reading Quran or anything. And in my head, I was telling myself, why even wear the hijab if I'm not even praying or reading Quran? I told myself I was disappointed, disgusting, and disappointing my deen and the prophets and to Allah. I was going, to, I was going through a horrible depression and feel like everyone around me was moving farther and farther away from me. And one day, I said to myself, why even live anymore and make more and more sins if I'm just going to go to hell anyways? <sighs> Early two minutes after that, I got, a, I got a notification that there was going to be a halaqa on Friday. And I was like, this is Allah telling me that he believes in me. Every Friday came, I went to the halaqa and it was talking about the problems that I was going through. Wow. After that day, I went to every Friday halaqa, every event my masajid had, and became closer to Allah, my deen, and even got educated on the hijab. Thank you, Ibri, for letting me share this. And it feels really nice to share my story to everyone and hopefully impact people by listening to my story. Hannah, first of all, why do you want to make me cry? Why do you want to make me cry? I just want to say may Allah bless you, okay, with everything that you want in life. Let me collect myself. Hold on. I'm back. Okay. There's a lot I need to work on myself. You know, reading a lot of these, I realize there's a lot that I need to work on myself. You know, 
and it just i just feel proud that you guys are able to grow closer to allah and start reading the quran and praying your salads and y'all are inspiring me believe it or not Hannah, i'm so glad that you were able to pull yourself out of that dark place and that you were able to grow a relationship with allah and the quran and the deen and especially the hijab i'm i appreciate you sharing your story it is hard trying to wear the hijab and stay modest in this day and age because if you think about it, right, the beauty standards are nothing what a Muslim woman is. And you kind of get like these voices in your head like, oh, that person is considered the beauty standard. Why not me? You know, when in reality, the hijab is already beautiful as it is. You know, being a hijabi is already beautiful as it is. I feel like we really need more hijabis to, you know, stand out and really talk about wearing the hijab is beautiful being a hijabi is beautiful walking around in an abaya a shuko a jilbab anything that covers you up is beautiful and honestly you have to keep telling yourself that because the way that we work as humans is if we keep telling ourselves something over and over and over and over and over again eventually we'll believe it if you have to walk around every day saying hijab is beautiful, my hijab is beautiful, her hijab is beautiful, hijab is beautiful, you'll end up believing it. It did take me some time to realize my hijab is actually beautiful. Me wearing the hijab, I'm beautiful. Can't okay? nobody tell me otherwise. Alhamdulillah, I'm at a point where I know I'm beautiful with my hijab off. And without it, I mean, in private, I would say <laughs> 10 out of 10, right? But in public, I feel like I'm ugly without my hijab. Because I'm fitting into the beauty standards. I need to write that down. Being outside without my hijab, I feel ugly because I'd be fitting into the outside beauty standard. I'm so smart for that. But walking around with my hijab in public in a society that hates the hijab, oh, best believe I'm finna strut. Let me tell you something. I'm hard-headed. And I like making people mad for things that I know makes them mad, but it's, like, beautiful to me. Meaning... I would walk around the streets in my shuko. I would walk around the streets with my hijab, walk around the streets in every Islamic clothing ever. And I walk around proud. That's gonna make a lot of people mad, but guess what? Doing it for the sake of Allah. I'm not doing it for the sake for you. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for me and Allah. And I'm doing this because Allah told me to. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it so much. Um, in the description box are my social medias. I will be updating a lot of my YouTube videos on my Instagram. So follow my Instagram. And what I do on my Instagram is I ask you guys the type of videos you want to see. Or if there's anything specific you want a video made about. So just let me know. Follow my Instagram. Keep in touch with me. I try to keep in touch with you guys because I want to build that relationship with you guys. I appreciate everybody who sent in their stories and sent in you know, their point of views of the hijab. I really, really do appreciate it. It shaped the core value of this video inshallah more videos to come i hope you guys have an amazing day and peace i never know how to end my videos what are you supposed to say doses peace out sucker no i don't i'm just gonna i'm just